Good morning, gamers. I hate you. It's fine. Why? How are you going to do our first intro like that? Why are you Good afternoon. My name is Noah. I'm Skyler. And uh, this is the first episode of Console Commanders. We're the Console Commanders. We are? Yeah, that, that's us. That's oh my god, no that's one, us, you silly boy. No one bo bothered to tell me. Anyway, so yeah. So, Noah, you told me you had something that you wanted to talk about today. Yeah, it well, was, uh... It was a pressing issue. Yeah, it's a very pressing issue. Go ahead. I want to talk about diabetes... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're going to talk about uh, one, of the, one of the most popular games of all time that has recently uh, been on the rise again, in 2019 anyway. Uh, out, of, out of seemingly nowhere, though probably thanks a bit to PewDiePie, Minecraft has been on the up and up again. Epic what, Minecraft. Yeah, the Epic Minecraft, which I'm not complaining about because last I mean, year the most great and like ad, ad, advertisers, advertisers love it. So I mean, well, yeah. if you're looking to make some money on YouTube, nice clean money. Is the way. Nice clean, <laughs> nice clean Christian Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's the one. That, that's where you want to go. Absolutely. And of course, last year's most popular game, or the last most popular game for like the last two years has been, you know, the dreaded Fortnite. Ugh. And I'm sure we, well, it's not terrible, I mean, but it's, no, it's, it's not, just it's not annoying. It's a terrible game, but it's, it's the, it, the same thing happened to that that happened in Minecraft back in like 2010, 2009, is that it got so cancerous. It's like you couldn't go on without being screamed at by some 12-year-old dropping yeah. an N-bomb every five minutes. I'm like, come on, man, you don't gotta be like that. Yeah, so it's, but I'm glad it's on the up and up again. We're gonna talk about some Minecraft a bit, and uh, we'll see if anyone remotely cares. We're gonna upload the podcast anyway, so forget about it. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna upload it with we're you. Gonna, yeah, whether or not you like it, we're uploading this, so you can stay it's and gonna, listen or you cannot. It's gonna happen. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, I do have, a, I don't know, like a super steady uh, setup or procedure here. I just mm -hmm. figure... I have a couple of questions that yeah, I also know, want yeah. to answer, but I'll just shoot them at you. So just Skyler, talking, man. tell me, what uh, what was your first experience in Minecraft? Okay, so this is really fun, actually. I was was in, it a Samsung Smart TV? It was not. I was in I was in middle school. I was at a, like a before school program mm -hmm. in middle school, so like you would get there at like seven a.m. and then because like school wouldn't start till eight, so you get there mm -hmm. at like seven or seven thirty. And you can just like go into like the computer lab and like, play games on a computer. And a friend of mine, uh, I'm pretty sure he's actually in jail now. Oh my god! <laughs> a friend of mine, he he was playing Minecraft. I'm like, how? Oh, wow, dude! How'd you get that? I love Minecraft. <laughs> how'd you get that? He said, just Google like. Oh my god! What was it like? Uh, Minecraft YouTuber, let's play. Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I think it was like a flash, like flash drive or something, it was like some weird Minecraft drive thing that I probably shouldn't have been on, and I probably gave that computer a virus along with my home computer at, uh, back at the house that we were in back then, oh, and it, like, it was a version of Minecraft that you couldn't update. So I was That's on. incredibly sketchy. Yeah, no, so while everybody else was like getting horses and all this other really cool stuff, I was like playing real bare bones version of Minecraft. Like I had the nether and everything, so I had the nether and the end, and I would just mess around on creative mode for hours and hours and hours during the summer mm. uh, instead of, you know, being productive and actually making friends. <laughs> yeah, how, how dare you? Pr friends? What are friends? Yeah. I'm so it was just like a super sketchy version of Minecraft that I probably shouldn't have downloaded, but I did anyway. Okay. It was a bad time. <laughs> so, uh, what was your first legitimate version of Minecraft? That one that wouldn't get you in trouble with uh, the FBI. Oh no, that was just <laughs> this year. I, I, I've, I've been a broke bitch for a while. I haven't <laughs> been able to buy like a real version of Minecraft ever. So I, that's mm. what I've been doing. It was only like thirty bucks, and I was like, <laughs> take my credit card information, <laughs> Mojang. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go right ahead and do that. They won't misuse that, I'm sure. No, it's fine. I trust them. It's Mojang. I mean... They're tr well, they're owned by Microsoft, but I mean, I'm sure they're still uh, trustworthy, probably. None of my sh none of my stuff's gonna get stolen. Right. Hopefully. It's fine. Yeah. So okay. That's I, good. I, I, you're, you're a nice little suburban Minnesotan oh, like, God. boy. I, I, I assume you're able to actually buy the real Minecraft when you were... when you were, uh, when you were a wee lad e growing up. Yeah. Uh, my first... I mean, buying Minecraft for myself was uh, was on the Wii U version, the dreaded, um, you know, black sheep of the, the console generation. And uh, 
that's that was my first time actually owning Minecraft myself. I played at a friend's house from time to time before that, but at the same time, I never had it for myself. And I was a Nintendo. I I say was. I still am a no, Nintendo you're, fanboy. You're Absolutely. Still, you're still a fucking Nintendo fan. No question about like, it. I feel that that's that's where a lot of conversations are gonna fucking drop into. Yeah, it's just you know yeah, Nintendo yeah, stuff. Nintendo, which I'm not. I'm gonna be screaming about Zelda. Mario 64, I gotta deal with that bullshit. Oh my god. Nintendo Whoa. doesn't know what the Whoa. Nintendo hey, doesn't know hey. what they wanna do. Time and place, buddy, okay? We'll talk about 60 I don't know, we could, if if nothing fun's trending next week, we'll talk about Mario 64 next. That could be that yeah. could be next week's. I'm just I have an experience with that game too. I'm sort of hit and miss. But let's let's stay on tap topic here. Uh, we are staying on topic. <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah, we t Minecraft 64. My, <laughs> my, my first version of Minecraft was for the Nintendo 64. That was probably my favorite. Uh, it looked like garbage, but it was cute. Just like everything else on the Nintendo 64. Well, that's, I wouldn't quite agree with that, but that's, oh, a, that a, that's a topic take? for another day. Look, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, personally, I, I played the Wii U version pretty much nonstop, and then I think I played only the Wii U version when it came out in like... I want to say late 2015 it came out, See, and that's, that's what, when I started playing it. That's what I love about Minecraft. Like it's you can get it on damn near any console, and like, and like you can, it's all the same game. Like yeah, some of the updates might be a bit slower to to get there. Yeah, but I mean it's all the same game. You can play it on PS4. You can play it on Xbox. You can play it on Switch. You can play it on Wii U on PC. <laughs> Even the new 3DS. Even the systems. Oh my god! I, Minecraft uh, is. And everywhere, man. I was going to say, because then my next version was the Switch version, because they, because I almost didn't consider it, but then Mojang said, hey, you're going to be able to transfer your worlds in a future update from the Wii U to the Switch version, which, you know, is just downright amazing, because mm -hmm. I, I love they made that a thing. Mm -hmm. So I still have, by extension, my original Wii U worlds in my Switch version, but then, of course, when they updated the Bedrock version, the worlds that were originally, like, tiny or whatever, because the Wii U worlds were absolutely tiny compared mm -hmm. to pretty much every other console, but the Switch one's... Or no, the Bedrock update in general made every world essentially infinite, if I'm not mistaken, right? So, I, I, I guess, I, I didn't really, like, keep up with it when I wasn't playing Minecraft. I wasn't keeping up with the updates and everything. The only update that I actually kept up with was, like, the pillagers and the bees. The bee that's the a big bees. one. That's a big one to come out recently, It's huh? it's, a, it's a bunch of bees. I don't even think it's come out yet. I think it's going to be in, like, 1.15. 1. 1. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I might be wrong, but... Okay. Yeah, and then uh, Bees. I got my that version updated, or I got my Switch version, and then eventually the Bedrock update came out, and of course I updated to that because it works across so many other things. And then, I want to say it was late 2017, I think, uh, out of nowhere Nintendo and Mojang said, yo, we're br bringing Minecraft to the new Nintendo 3DS. You would think so- you, <laughs> you would think someone who was responsible with money would uh, not spend money on that. I was not one to be responsible with money, so I bought it, even though I had no use for it. You're but I was like barely responsible. With money. You say barely? That's still being too generous to me. Uh, <laughs> I, I I need work with that. I just bought two tickets today, even though I have a bit of a dwindling bank account to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, because you fool. We, what you you. What? I live with a man who works at Arclight. Okay, but you know what? I want to go see it. Tickets. I want to go hell? see it as a movie date, not with a three-way with the caveman. Phrasing. Yeah, Phrasing. I know I know what I said, and I'm more than okay with that being on the record. <laughs> Somebody hit that demonetize button. Oh, Wait, absolutely. We're not monetized well, anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that if we ever get monetized, which will probably be never. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I bought the new, <laughs> the new Nintendo 3DS version of Minecraft. I will say... It's it's all it's the same shit. well yeah it's it's the same game but you know what I will say it's really impressive they got it working on the 3ds or the new 3ds specifically because if you have the original 3ds 3ds XL or 2ds models you can't play it on 3ds. But I feel like I feel like that's such a weird format just because like the way the DS is built is the two screens is like what what goes on the two screens you have like well, the main world and then like what goes up on the top screen. Well, do you want me to tell you? I would love to know. Yeah, the top... That'll make no damn sense. The top screen is uh, basically the, the quote-unquote normal view that you would see in any other Minecraft game, where, like, instead the hearts in that uh, food meter are at the top left and right corners of the screen. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's basically exactly the same as every other version of Minecraft. And then the bottom screen is your inventory, and you can actually organize and access that with the touch screen, which I thought was actually a really cool touch. 
Even the Wii U version had that? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. There better be a snare drum. Oh my god. I, if there I, isn't, I'm going to fix it. Fix it in post. And the, so, uh, yeah, the Wii U version actually had that too, but that that's like the most people were really upset, myself kind of included, that like, wow, Minecraft's coming to the Wii U, but it like won't take advantage of it at all. And uh, the 3DS version even got more because there was like... Uh, you could access the inventory on the touch screen or whatever. You could actually open up your, your uh, what's it called? Your inventory or the, yeah. the bigger inventory. Not just the mm -hmm. bar. You know what I mean. Like yeah, the, like, like the actual one yeah, the, like where you apply all of your armor and all that. Yeah, that, that, that menu. Stuff. You could open that with the touch screen. There was even its own pause button and crafting button on the, on the touch screen itself. And then also the best thing about it was the map is present on the bottom screen at all times. Map? Which is super... Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Because like, is... in, like, every other version, you get a map when you start out while you're on PC. You just... You get a whole lot of nothing. Unless you're a dirty cheater <laughs> and you use a flipping starting chest. I'm like, yeah, a bonus chest. I mean, who does that? Right. Garbage. Yeah, Don't but... Use uh, bonus chest, kids. They'll call you a dirty cheater and make you cry. That's harsh. But, yeah, uh, I would say, like, it's sad how the 3DS version took more advantage of its its capabilities than the Wii U version did. The Wii U version was a full console version where I believe 3DS, I don't know it down to the version number, but it's essentially a sort of scaled down version of a previous version of well, Pocket, that's, Pocket Edition. Yeah, that's pretty much what Pocket Edition is. It's just a scaled down version of what's currently there for like PC and literally everything else. I mean, nowadays it's almost on par, if I'm not mistaken, with some of the content that's available and like accessibility Pocket, and stuff. Cause, Pocket Edition? Yeah. Like, I, I picked up Pocket Edition recently. Also, that's the latest edition I bought of Minecraft. I have officially, is that four now? Oh my god. Yeah, officially I have four versions. I have the Wii U edition, the 3DS, the new 3DS edition, the Switch edition, and uh, the, Mo the Pocket Edition. How is Mojang, how is a company able to do that where they make, they make people buy like four or five different versions of the same game. Uh, you should ask Bethesda about that with Skyrim because they've been doing that for years. There's a mobile version of Skyrim? I don't know. I don't think there is, but there is a mobile Elder Scrolls game, but also the joke has been that Skyrim's been on almost every modern platform recently. Uh, pretty much every modern platform since the release. That's not true. Uh, since the Xbox 360, minus the Wii and the Wii U, of course, because those are really underpowered compared to the other consoles. But... You know, 360, PS3, PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch. It's 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 all over the place. People act like it's it, they've been like 20,000 versions, but that award goes to Minecraft for having <laughs> one. Best well, seriously, Rock, Java, yeah, Micro Windows 10, all. Well, if you, I mean, a while. I mean, until the Bedrock update, there were. I'm gonna go ahead and count now. There was the PC original B PC Java version. There was 360 uh -huh. edition, mm -hmm. PS3 edition. Mm -hmm. Um, the Pocket Edition, mm -hmm. the Wii U version, the mm -hmm. Xbox One Edition, the PS4 mm -hmm. Edition, the Windows 10 version, and then, oh yeah, and the new, new Nintendo 3DS version, and the Switch version. There were 10, ten, different, ten versions of Minecraft, ten versions and people give Skyrim garbage for, for having, being, com, becoming available on almost every modern platform, which it kind of has a right to, because that's a huge game, and if people missed out on it, like, I kind of get re-releasing games on new platforms for those who missed out on them. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to experience, what is it, a bunch of games that, like, are on Switch now or whatever that they ported to there because it was easy. Like, uh, what's one? Hollow Knight. That's one that I've heard a lot about. It's an indie game that was apparently... It's like a sort of Hollow Metroidvania it? kind of, kind of game. Metroidvania? No, Metroidvania. Uh, Metroidvania. Yeah. That, I, I don't know. That, that, I, that, I, wait, I that, barely played it. But. That, that's that's what it sounds like it is, right? Like Metroid and Castlevania? I, it's exactly what it is, yeah. Like vampire that's a term robots? Game. Well, not quite that. More just the style of like exploration and finding new pathways and then getting new items and weapons that you can go back to previous areas to access new areas and new mm -hmm. power-ups and all that. So it's sort of like a very open-ended exploration and a uh, dungeon-exploring-based game kind of thing. I mean, it's not like Zelda dungeons, but it's it's like it's like you just find stuff and then you go get new stuff, and then you can come back and get more new stuff from those previous areas where you got the first stuff. You know, I love the fact that we haven't even been recording for fifteen minutes and we already started drifting into the world of Nintendo. Well, you know what? Now that you brought it up, we're gonna go right back into the world of Minecraft. So. Oh my god! Yeah. Um. 
Well, I was gonna. I mean, ha- it's, oh. it's been nice to see other things besides Fortnite on the trending tab. Yeah, and it's also been nice to see PewDiePie again on the trending tab because honestly, our man he, just hit a hundred million he, subscribers, right? Like a day or so ago after we're no, recording this. No, it was literally yeah, it was yesterday. Or before we're yeah, recording this. Yeah, <laughs> not yes, after. Yesterday of the day we were recording this was when he hit a hundred million subscribers. I was at work. I saw. I saw a Jacksepticeye tweet out a thing saying, congrats, man, mm. or something like that. And I had to check, and I lost my mind at work. I That's amazing. Like, wow. Well, good for him. That dude's got it. That dude's kind of got all, And he just got married, too, right? <laughs> that's 100 million like, people. It's, that's amazing, actually. Good for him that he's doing great. Oh, God, we got and people. And he just got married? Man. He's got it all. He's a hundred million. He's play, trending in Minecraft, and you know, probably making Mad Bank or whatever. Yeah, of course he I, is. I saw a video yesterday. I think that said like the top most uh, most profitable YouTubers, the people who make the most money on YouTube, and he was of course number one. Well, he, he's been he's been there for a while. True. He's, yeah. He's, he's been. Number I just one never actually did research on that. He's been number one of everything for a long, long ass time. Pretty much. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, he's been a. Uh, He's been doing good, you know? He's got it all. He's got the money, he's got the girl, he's got the, the Minecraft. Those are the three unities of life that you need. <laughs> the Holy Trinity. That's, yeah, the Holy Trinity, that's all you need. Uh, that's good shit. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, since you know we need stuff to talk about about Minecraft, do you have a preference between creative mode and survival mode? It kinda, it kinda depends. Like, it, like yesterday I was just feeling like building, and I just went into creative mode because I just felt like building. But if I'm actually, like, want to feel, have a bit of a challenge, then yeah, I'll go into survival mode. I built my whole world and everything. Take care of my dogs and yeah. that shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I kind of agree. It's sort of dependent on your mood kind of thing. Creative mode's when you just want to build whatever and let the creative juices flow. It sounds gross when I say it out loud. Um, and then survive. Yeah, survival mode's way harder. Like I started playing with uh, some high school buddies of mine. We started a realm together. I say we. In reality, one of us started a realm. And I think, oh shoot, I just remembered that we were gonna divide it up between the four of us, and that's like two bucks a piece, which is perfectly fine. I just haven't paid them yet, so I should probably probably do that. You cheap bastard. Yeah, I am. I, whatever, it's fine. Cut uh, off your fucking toes. That's a little dramatic. I'd rather you put this. The, the, the steak knife down, but uh, Fuck, I'm gonna lick it. Yeah, don't do that. That's I'm gonna weird. Get, I'm gonna get right up into the right up into this computer's mic and lick it. You're the worst human being I ever met. Oh, it's it, that's ASMR. Isn't but it? yeah, we basically just play in survival mode, even though we've been uh, building a lot of stuff. Like we've mostly been just we found a town. We haven't done much of the surviving aspect. We just found a town and no one was living in it, so we didn't feel bad ransacking the houses and taking them for our own. I took like the tallest one and made it into made it even taller into a four-story uh house with Burn it all down i i haven't burned it yet but i also haven't been on it since friday i think i jumped on briefly or no thursday jumped on it briefly on thursday and uh i don't think it's burned down yet but uh no, i hope burn not. It all i have around. i have a flint and steel in one of my chests so if one of my friends grabbed it and uh and ruined it that would be less than ideal uh, I like to do that when I'm in creative mode sometimes. I'll set stuff on fire. Yeah, no. Be an arsonist? No, I'll do like a super flat world and then I'll generate, I'll make sure generate structures is on so I can find a village every once in a while. I set it on fire. And then, yeah, and then I just burn it down and kill all the iron golems. It's fine. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of, uh, sad. Sadistic? <laughs> Sadistic. That's a better word. It's fine. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I've, I've never actually done that much with creative mode. What I've done with creative mode is uh, is I would always basically just make a portal to the nether and the end and stuff because I'm too lazy to do it in survival mode. But uh, that's basically, uh, I don't know. That That's why I've never legitimately beat the game uh, through survival mode or something like that because... Yeah, that's hard to, well, Felix just did that today. Did he? Yeah, he just, I, he just did that today. I watched the video and I almost teared up a little. <laughs> Ooh, emotional. Yeah, it this was. is the grand finale or well, whatever to well, there's still his adventure. More, there, there's still more to be done. It's Minecraft. There's always more. It doesn't end. He still needs to get the wings and everything. And, and I mean, you can't it, just build a, it's those. It's such a good thing. What? You can't just build those. No, you have to find those in the end cities. See what this revolves or what this whole thing reveals is that I know very little about Minecraft, despite 
playing a decent amount of it in See, uh, the high only reason, stuff. The only reason I learned so much about about Mo about Minecraft, like the way it is now, is from watching Felix's playthrough and being on his subreddit and seeing all the different tips and everything that people give him on on there. <laughs> Well, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're able to learn a lot more about it. Of course, you're able to learn a lot more since you actually have the game on on a computer. I would like to get the PC version one day. I mean, you bought every other version. You might as well buy that one too. I go will. Ahead, I show, will. Go ahead, show I out, will. Shell out the third. When out it the doesn't cost thirty dollars, or I have more mean? money to waste. Damn, shut up. I mean, I could pirate it, but that's also illegal. The pirate. Can we get, can we get in trouble for saying that on the podcast? No, that's fine. Okay. Nobody's, sure nobody's going to care for a while. Alrighty, I'm glad. You fine. will it? It'll be fine. Well, it'll be fi Nothing yeah, it'll will be, be fine. fine. So, so what do you think? Do you think this Minecraft uh, Renaissance is going to be lasting for a while, the rest of the year, maybe, or is this sort of like a? I mean, I would. I, I mean, I feel like I feel like as long as Felix is genuinely enjoying it, because I mean, like it or not, <laughs> love him or hate him, he's spitting facts. <laughs> I mean, and, and like, but actually, though, like it or not, he's. He's one of the people that influence how YouTube gaming is going. Like right. as soon as he started playing Minecraft, the trending tab shot up with Minecraft. And you still have a couple Fortnite videos in there, but nobody really cares about that anymore. Like you don't yeah. see anybody, everybody like freaking out, like, oh, I need to make another Fortnite video, I need to make another Fortnite video, I need another Fortnite collab. It's like, no, people, <laughs> if it ends up on there, it ends up on there. But other than that, it's just like Minecraft stuff, and it's it's really cool. Yeah, um, I, I, I hope it at least ends to the goes to the end of the year. But I mean, I feel like as soon as Felix stops playing and he's had his fill, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna kind of go down a little bit more. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, Jack, uh, Jack and Jack Septic guy might have some influence on that too because he he's been playing Minecraft. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, uh, as soon as like they're all done with it, it's whatever. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people are still gonna love the game regardless, but. I feel like there's not going to be as much hype around it. Then it'll just be on to the next thing, like how it was with, uh, with like Undertale and things like that. Yeah, so everybody was freaking out about Undertale. People still freak out about Undertale. I avoided most of the hype for and uh, annoyance that was Undertale uh, when it was first released. I had a friend of mine in high school who insisted I keep playing it, and I'm glad I did. I, I don't re regret getting it. It's just I heard mm -hmm. for a long time from him and from everyone else that. You know, you gotta play Undertale. It's well, not yeah, like any other it, RPG. It's really cool, and it's yeah. like, yes, it is. It's just when everyone doesn't shut up about it, it almost makes me kind of yeah. That, not that, that's why, like, that's how I felt with uh, just I guess a comparison with like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, right. uh, that that anime. And I know like a lot of people really like it, but I just like I only started wa just started watching it. I'm only on season two of part three because like I had so many people screaming <laughs> on my ass like, oh, you need to go, you need to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's like. I'm not gonna watch it if y'all keep screaming at me like this. Like, y'all, y'all need to chill. Yeah. Y'all just need to chill. Yeah, that's probably a fair way to look at it. Yeah, because if somebody's gonna scream at you to do something, you're not gonna do it. It's like required reading in high school. It's like I'm, I'm not gonna read *Grapes of Wrath*. I'm sure it's a good book, <laughs> but I'm not gonna read that because you told me to. Oh my god, I did read that book back in high school. We were required to, and yeah, I, I don't remember a single thing about it. Yeah, all I remember is like. Wait, did we read it? Oh yeah, all I remember is like I think it, it, it was that. about like the Great Depression, and which like is that. super vague because there are a lot of books made about various points of the Great Depression. Because you know who would have guessed the Great Depression was a was a big deal and it was an interesting point to write about because it really was a point of turmoil in the country. You can really actually write some interesting stuff about that and all that with with what was happening at the time. Man, that was a sad time. Hence the word depression. Ha ha. <laughs> it's clever. <laughs> you are just the worst. I'm not a sausage. What? Just the first sausage, like bratwurst. Bratwurst is a sausage. I'm gonna slap my sausage. I on think the we've table. about run out of time here today. I uh, so? I've, well, oh, I spiked the I fuck think out so. of that with slapping the sausage. Well, I've been looking at the I've been looking at the the recording this uh, whole the time. The sound level. Yeah, the sound levels, and I am noticeably louder than you. I think. Because well, you're just very chill just about it. Yeah. yeah, you're you're way more chill about this. I, I, so prom I promise you that that mic is going to be like that computer is going to be like right up in your face as soon as we start talking about oh my god, fucking motherfucking Legend of Zelda. Oh, oh, baby. Yeah. oh yeah, I mean them. I love both of them. I cannot wait for number two. But it's forever. 
that's another time. Do you want? What do you think? You want to talk about that next time? Are we gonna jump into the world of? Of of Zolder of Zolder I was I was thinking because I wrote down a number of ideas I think I showed you on a piece of paper the other day that mm-hmm. I wrote down a, like a million and by a million I mean like thirty we ideas. Can also cut around some of this. Yeah, when, definitely. When we're editing it because, like just like this part here because it's like a weird. Yeah, thing for, yeah, we can just cut for this out. else to hear. Yeah, I guess. Just, just I saying. Just I'm just say. saying it so you like. We remember right. in yeah. post to actually cut it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna because I I wrote down a lot of ideas for what we could do, and I thought wrote one of them was because we know so little right now. We could uh, maybe on another episode talk about the our predictions or our wish list or what we hope to see from the next Breath of the Wild, since we're at a point of pure wild. pure speculation. <laughs> yeah, the sequel. Uh, I, I was kind of surprised to hear they even announced it in the first place. I'm so happy, dude. Like, I'm I don't so know why happy. I'm surprised, but I just, E3 was was so great, and I thought, wow, end it with Banjo-Kazooie, that's great. Oh, a sequel to one of the best Zelda games in years. I'm not complaining, Breath of the Wild was the first 3D Zelda game I actually beat, so... You know, it's the first 3D Zelda. I yeah, and it's the watching. biggest one. <laughs> it's the first one I actually enjoyed well, watching. Well, well, I'll try. We'll, we'll we'll try to get you. Maybe I can lend you my Switch for a bit sometime, and you can you can have some time Dude, to play totally Breath of the Wild, the and then we could actually like talk about the the, the like, first Breath of the Wild. But no, like I, I feel like I know enough about it, but also it's like a different experience actually playing it. Oh, absolutely. Kind of like Minecraft. See, we brought it full circle. We bring it full. We bring it full circle. That's exactly what we meant to do. So yeah, next time you want to talk about uh yeah. Our so hopes and dreams next time, the wild. Yes, two? next time tune in. Ne- next time on console. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna steal that from the Grumps. Good, good job, Skyler. Next time no. on. Uh, next time on Dragon Dragon Ball Z, Z Kai. Yeah, two. That was a good show. Was it? I've never seen Dragon. Anyway, <laughs> next time we got we got Zelda. Maybe maybe we'll jump into the horror, the interesting world. I'll say that I won't say horrible. The interesting world of the Nintendo sixty four and the shit that that brought up. You really have a problem with that, don't you? Uh, just a few of the games, but okay. we'll talk about that next time. Absolutely, we'll be fine. Alrighty then. Well, I love you. Good night, gamers. Don't you kiss me. you kiss can't me. end it like it's, that. It's no, off. Get, get off.